guys. Well, welcome back to another week of Instagram stories. In fact, this is week 40. That's right. Four, zero, four, zero. Oh, careful there, bro. Careful. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I mean, there's already been 40 weeks that I've been doing these things. I, I can't even believe it's been that many weeks. That's, damn, that's almost a whole year. Speaking of which, we're already ending this year. That's pretty crazy too, huh? But anyways, uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little quick little intro as I always do. Don't forget to watch this on your phone or tablet in order to really watch this, you know, so it comes out awesome and better. And careful, careful. I know, I know. Anyway, so you can just watch it like that. And, uh, you know, make sure you careful with your fingers <laughs> and all that good stuff. But regardless, guys, hope you guys enjoy this week just like I enjoyed filming it for you guys. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the next week that's coming up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week. And I hope you guys are just enjoying life like me and Lambo are always enjoying life. I don't enjoy life. I'm deeply depressed. I drink a lot. Don't you guys? This fucking horse, man. You can't. Bro, you, you can't even. All right. You know, I'm, I'm going to deal with this guy, all right? I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of it. Bye. That's right. It's already time for round two. You know why? Well, it's kind of like dreary, dreary out there. It's nice and cool. The weather's nice. It's not like 100 million degrees like it usually is. You know, it's uh, fall, right? Going into winter, so it's very nice. So, yeah, you know, I just like I need a little bit more coffee, you know, because... Those nice puffy clouds and the nice cool weather just, you know, makes you want to just cuddle up in bed and be lazy and do nothing. So you got to fight against that. Well, at least I do because I got shit to do. And, um, yeah. But it reminds me of Seattle, too. It's like, I want, that's why a lot of people drink a lot of coffee up there. And everyone's always like a little, you know, it's always dreary all the time. Anyways. All right. Oh, yeah, I know. I got something I wanted to show you. Here, check this out. Ants in my garbage look at this i have like a little thing there crazy cool right i don't know if you can see them all i think they're all disappeared but look there they are but anyways look at that so yeah the reason i wanted to show you this is because yeah i just thought of something you know when i saw that as like someone so on one man's garbage is another man's treasure so as you guys can see here you know my garbage is still somebody else's treasure. Just life is always giving. Interesting as fuck, huh? You know, just in case you guys were wondering what my fat ass eats for dinner. Eating on a budget. Yeah, I made that. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, how was dinner? Uh. Delicious, huh? That's right, that's right. Uh. Alright, sorry, it's just like it's hard filming with my finger, and I look ugly as fuck, too. <laughs> mm, now that's some tasty cake. Hey guys, how's it going and happy Monday. Oh look, you hear the planes? It's a plane, it's a plane. Anyways guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day already. I just realized it's Veterans Day. Sorry, I apologize for being a bad American. You know, I'm out here in Mexico now, I'm being a bad hombre, so I forget about things like that. But anyways, shout out to everyone out there that's done that military service and uh, you know deserves that remembrance today on Veterans Day because that's right. You know, at the end of the day, you can hate the American Empire all you want. You can hate America all you want. You can hate the USA all you want. But we got to remember the USA and the USA Army and the whole military industrial complex. That's right. That's what keeps us at number one. Uh, but regardless, I know that's not really what you want to hear. But I mean, what the fuck else you want to hear? I mean, that is the truth. You know, I mean, that's all we're really celebrating today. We're celebrating today all the people that died in honor in the name of the military industrial complex sure they were protecting the us of a but 
we all know what the hell's going on. And again, don't, don't even ask me. You can just ask someone uh, like Mrs. Tulsi Gabbard. I think she's running for president. Yeah, you guys look into that. But yeah, regardless, uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Oh, look, uh, me and my girlfriend, you know, we're having fun this weekend. You know, we already started a little bit of the decorating. Um, I was uh, reassured that it's not too early. We're already mid-November. So, sure, it might be a little early for, you know, uh, Mexican standards because they really like to start putting their things up here in December. But, hey, whatever. You know, we, we, are, we do procrastinate a little bit, a lot here in this house. So, might as well start getting a jump on it. Holy crap. It's already nighttime out there. You see how dark it is? It's 545. Also, I have not checked in with you guys all day, literally, because I've been so crazy busy. In fact, I've been so busy. I look at the trash. I have to take out the trash. Literally, the fucking uh, trash guy is about to get here any minute. Yeah, the trash guy comes here at night, by the way. I think it's better. It's uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, keeps, uh, keeps them out of traffic. But anyways, the point is that I got to take out the fucking trash. I also got to clean myself up because I look like trash. And also, I need to take a few minutes break, man. I'm fucking exhausted. Everything in my brain is like, clunk, clunk. I've been doing so much today. But hey, I feel crazy accomplished. Hell yeah, that's more people bothering me. All right, guys. Well, I got to get going. Love you guys. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. I mean, if I don't see you for the rest of the night, I'll see you tomorrow. It's Taco Tuesday. I think I'm going to get some tacos tomorrow for sure. Too much work this week. ...into our project. I want them to end up in this clip pool down here. So I'm simply going to take these three video clips and drag them in their full entirety into the media pool. And depending on your project settings, there's a good chance that you'll get this... Yeah, so I've kind of... Like I kind of finally had it already with Premiere Pro. Um, this last update has been horrible. And, you know, I just, I, I've been meaning to switch over to a brand new uh, editing software. So I'm figuring, you know what? This is the best time as any. I got a clean slate when it comes to projects, you know, right now. So I'm thinking to myself, might as well start learning it and, uh, you know, start. Um, using it and uh so far you know after just watching some tutorials and watching some overviews of uh this new program by the way it's called da vinci resolve it's what the with the real professionals use but anyways long story short uh it seems pretty easy it seems pretty good and uh you know i'm actually pretty excited to use it so uh you know and hopefully uh you know you'll get better looking uh, videos coming your way as well so uh i guess stay tuned uh we're going to be uh, learning together. It's going to be a process. I might not get rid of Premiere Pro right away, um, but definitely uh, it's on its way out. I'm probably wondering, you know, why I'm switching over. Well, the main reason, honestly, to tell you the truth, is because every time that Premiere Pro updates or has like a new version or whatever, um, an update, <laughs> it's it's literally worse than the last. It's It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and it's just more taxing on my computer and it's just a pain in the butt for no reason for no reason at all so you know all of a sudden you know there's this other competitor uh, competitor out there you know called DaVinci Resolve and uh, you know from everything I see and all the you know everything I'm looking at it seems like they're just getting better and better and better and just taking advantage of uh, you know the fact that Premiere Pro is doing bad and you know it's you know adobe you know people know adobe that's premiere pro you know they've been around for a long time and they've uh, had some problem you know since uh, the company got so big and you know now they're, they're you know they're um now premiere pro i mean now adobe i'm sorry <laughs> now adobe is going through kind of like the same uh troubles that a company like apple is going through in which every single um, you know, and time that they come out with a new phone or a new product is not good or worse than the last. So, you know, that's kind of like what's going on there. It's just that they got so big and so powerful that they just stopped giving a fuck while their competitors, you know, are just hungry. So, you know, maybe a little life lesson for you out there. Always stay hungry. Oh, yeah. The nectar of the gods. Hell, yeah. Oh, man. This shit just makes me fucking jizz in my pants every time I see that coffee coming out of the coffee machine. Nothing sexual, but very sexual. By the way, a lot of people always ask me, you know, about the whole kitchen thing, because you remember I used to be a chef and all that stuff, and, you know, back when I was a chef, I never really 
thought of myself as like an artist per se because you know I got into the whole chefing business before it became a whole popular thing where everybody's doing that now and you see all these fancy restaurants everywhere I used to be a chef back when it was uh, you know it wasn't a fancy thing it wasn't like a cool job or anything like that but anyways it was cool because like um, really we were an artist we are artists as chefs we really were artists in fact you know of all the art forms you know we are like the most um, the ones that used every single sense available uh oh oh it's spilling see that's funny that I even said that because like because of my hearing all right I, I already knew what was coming from over there and I closed it before it got out of hand now you know let me turn this thing off before it burns off any more but anyways but the point is is that you know when you're you when you're doing any art form you're using just a handful of senses but when you're a chef a cook or whatever you use all your senses literally you're smelling you're hearing like I was just hearing now you're seeing you're touching you're tasting all of it like you know I love you know I love art you know like painting but gee, you can't taste this you know what I mean you can't hear that maybe you can you can kind of hear it you know but you know you're missing the taste um, you're missing you know what same as music you can't taste music right you can't smell music right so it's things like that you know it's just putting it into perspective but you know what I can smell myself I need a shower all right here's my first attempt at uh, trying to use this thing here I'm not gonna lie to you it hasn't been easy I have spent like double triple time just trying to figure this out trying to edit this so definitely a huge steep learning curve that's for sure but hey I mean I already can see it's looking better I'm kind of you know just doing this like a quick uh, video here so that I can kind of take a look at the at the end results to see if it's actually worth it um, you know to see if it actually looks better and so on and so forth you know so on I mean for, for you know right now it seems you know just about the same as Premiere Pro at least in Premiere Pro um, you know the program that I normally use I already know how to use it and I'm already learning all these tricks and stuff like that as to where on this program not only do I not know anything and I'm starting from scratch and it's actually harder than what I thought but it's like it's a lot harder to learn a lot of the things that I'm gonna need to learn just like to do simple things like titles and words and uh, just basic you know things but I don't know I'm gonna give it a shot I'm not gonna give up right away I'm gonna really try my best and worst case scenario I still got Premiere Pro to to make those videos but it's definitely gonna be uh, it's gonna be um, an education process that's for sure Look at that. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Pray for me, guys. That will also help improve the playback once I get to the edit timeline. So I'm going to come back to the playback menu up here. Man, I'm really, really trying to learn this thing. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm really giving it a shot. It seems hard. But it also seems that my computer might not be strong enough to take on this brand new um, editing program. So, I don't know. I'm giving it a shot. I know it's a, it's a slow learning process and a very steep learning curve. But you got to do what you got to do. So, all right, back to work. Yeah, you know, I think this whole endeavor into a new editing program might not uh, work out after all I'm, I'm gonna keep it going and keep trying but it seems that it's it's not gonna work with my hardware very very well it's gonna take like way longer to just like uh, export a video once it's done and then you know I mean again it's awesome it's, it's a great you know um, editing platform but I don't know I think um, I'm gonna have to stick with Premiere Pro no matter what and um, yeah, it kind of sucks because uh, Premiere Pro costs money per month, you know. Um, but they have a new Premiere Pro 20. I'm, I was using, I've been using 19. I'm going to see if uh, I'm going to give that one a shot. And uh, yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's the difficulties of all this, you know. Just, uh, you know, besides the buses passing and making noise, you know, it's a lot of things involved in uh, making videos. And sure, it's, it's tons of fun and it's awesome, but... You know, sometimes things like this happen. So, you know, another thing that's happening is this hair. I think I need a haircut soon. But anyways, but it is getting kind of cold outside. Hmm, great topic idea for a video.
of the day, I'm just going to keep uh, editing with Premiere Pro and keep playing around with um, the new DaVinci Resolve program and just, you know, play it by ear. And um, and that's it, you know what I mean? Uh, what, what can I do? Nothing I can really do except uh, suck it up and keep using Adobe Premiere Pro. And uh, hopefully the new version is better. And if not, well, it is what it is. What am I going to do, right? About that time. It's about that t time I got to start cleaning the fucking kitchen there. This shit's looking disgusting. Huh? But, but anyways, back back to... It's about that time, that coffee time. I just put it in still. It'll be a little while. But in the meantime, I get to talk to you guys about the editing situation because I, I, I just thought that I was sharing my thoughts with you guys yesterday and all that stuff, but it turns out that a lot of you guys are actually concerned about my editing program situation. And I want to start off by saying thank you. I love you guys. You guys are the best. And uh, thank you for all the suggestions. That was a lot of suggestions. See, they keep coming in. A lot of suggestions as to all these editing programs, you know, that I could use. Look at Lambo. Even he had some suggestions, you know. But the reality is, is that, unfortunately for me, in my case, I do professional work. And I'm already used to a certain professional grade of, um, you know, level of equipment, um, editing program, and so on and so forth. That's why when I was getting, and a lot of people that do what I do for a living, when we were getting frustrated with Premiere Pro, the Adobe program, we really have nowhere to go because, yeah, there's tons of editing programs out there, but, you know, I'm not just making little Instagram videos. I'm doing all kinds of things, you know, for all kinds of clients and in and, and all kinds of environments with all kinds of files and too many things involved there. So when all of a sudden we started discovering this DaVinci Resolve situation, a lot of us are migrating over to the new editing program because it's it's literally better for some things not everything i'm already finding out that premiere pro is still great for other things and so you know I, i'm still debating which program i'm going to use i might use both i might actually end up using premiere pro you know to keep editing my videos and hope to god that they keep getting better um you know just for their sake because eventually if they don't then i'm gonna have to go full you know scale to davinci resolve right now i'm not going to do that i'm just gonna you know use both i'll use you know premiere pro to edit and do most of my hard work and then uh when i need to do like the color grading and make it look you know extra nice and all that good stuff then well that's what uh davinci resolve is for and i gotta do double duty and i gotta keep learning my craft and getting better at it and this is the name the nature of the game blah 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 so i was like you know what let me just enter emails get to work and you know eventually time will pass well guess what i'm only like 20 minutes away and i still haven't even started setting up for the live stream today so yeah, I'll see you guys at, you already know the time, I'll see you guys at 11 a.m. Eastern Central on YouTube for the live stream that we have every single week. So, I'll uh, see you guys in, crap, 20 minutes. Gotta go. You're always running late, bro. Man, look at that. It's already nighttime, 5.30 p.m. on the dot. Crazy. I, I, I've done so much today. I actually did a lot of things today. A lot of things today. Um, been up since like 6, 6.30 in the morning, give or take, and uh, yet it's 5.30 p.m., and I feel like I haven't done anything. It's, it's just, it's all about the nighttime and the whole time change things. I'm sure a lot of you guys are feeling the same way, or maybe you guys feel like exhausted and like you feel like you've done 10 times as much, but regardless, I know I've done a lot. Um, it's just I'm trying to psych myself into realizing that and uh, getting back to work. I still got a lot to do. I got four videos I got to edit. Well, actually, two videos I got to edit, and I got to upload four, five videos. So, that's a lot of things I got to do. Actually, I got to edit three videos. I just remembered uh, number three there. But, uh, yeah, at least, you know, I'm already showered. I already literally did, like, everything I need to do. And now, all I'm going to do is uh, get on my computer, start downloading, you know, or, yeah, start downloading all the files I got to download and start editing while I do that and spark my blunt and just chill in this chill weather. Hope you guys are doing the same. Hope you guys are also having a happy hump day. All right, you know it's starting to get cold when I'm wearing a t-shirt. And uh, look at this. I had to bust out with the, with the long pants, with the pajama pants, because, yeah, it's actually pretty cold. Well, at least cold for my standards. Just out here, um, you know, editing the usual. So, you know, I'm almost done. You know, I got uh, just to finish this up and then I got to export the two. I already uploaded the two that I need to upload. And then that's it. I think one by the time um, I'm going to finish with this one and export the last two videos that I edited, 
I think I'm just going to finish it up for the night and uh, continue tomorrow. And I'll just edit the one that I got left tomorrow and uh, hopefully I can get it all done tomorrow. Well, all right, guys, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this week's episode. And um, as you guys already know, if you guys want to see more of these adventures, just click you know, on the playlist, you know, that has all these adventures. If you don't want to see any more of these, then again, just watch another video. Regardless, you guys already know, every single day I post a brand new video. And on Wednesday, we have a live stream. And uh, Monday, tomorrow, we got Monday Motivation. We have all kinds of stuff on this channel all the freaking time. So if you don't want to miss anything, don't forget to hit that bell icon. But again, if you enjoyed this and other content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, yeah, just uh, stay awesome and uh, catch these guys at the end, all right? Um, um, hopefully you guys will enjoy them too. Have a great rest of your week and uh, I'll see you guys manana. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Twitter. Check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're going to see some here now, you're going to have all kinds of fun. So, again, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys when you...